Good evening. My name is Marion DeWeaver, and on behalf of our team of progressive, passionate, and proven realtors, it is my privilege to welcome you to the 24th Annual Business Excellence Awards, COVID Style. We are here to honor outstanding achievements and commitments in our business community. Tonight, we celebrate the entrepreneurs, businesses, and organizations who have demonstrated a dedication to their product or service and an ongoing commitment to their employees and the community at large. With 50 nominees in nine categories, we have a lot to celebrate. As a three-time BEA nominee and former winner of the Professional Award, we appreciate what an honor this is. As a real estate brokerage, we benefit directly from the strong and vibrant and robust community that all of you nominees have contributed to, making this a great place to live as well as to do business. So we welcome the opportunity to give back. As your reception sponsor, or because of COVID version this year, gift bag sponsor, and kick off tonight's celebration by saying, this bag's on us. So before we get rolling, a bit of housekeeping. If you do leave your vehicle, please try to stay within your social bubbles. If that is not possible, we ask that for your safety and the safety of others, that you wear your mask. Thank you to Rian Thompson Candies and Peely Island Winery for the sweet treats you'll find in your gift bag. We hope that you enjoy them. When the winners are announced, in addition to clapping, please feel free to flash your headlights, honk your horn. Let's show our solidarity as a wonderful and vibrant business community. And now, on with the show. Good evening, everyone. I'm going to be honest, this isn't exactly how I pictured speaking to you this year, but the bonus is now none of you will be confused which one of us is Eddie Matthews. And hopefully you're laughing at that. Uh, I'm going to begin this evening with a quote. So the only thing that overcomes hard luck is hard work. Harry Golden. At this moment in time, I think there are very few quotes that encompass how businesses and communities around the world are tackling this pandemic right now. Chambers are no exception. At Sun Life, where I work as an advisor, it has been the general theme of our leader, Steve Olson, uh, that we have focused on as we have undergone some significant business changes pre-COVID. It turns out that has continued to serve us quite well during COVID. Although, like for many of you, things have not always been easy. Hard work overcomes hard luck. On behalf of the board and the staff for the Stratford and District Chamber of Commerce, welcome. My name is Travis Blum, and I currently have the honor to serve as board chair. Thank you so much for coming. Most importantly, thank you to our members. Without you, there is no chamber. During times like these, chambers of commerce across the country are more important than ever. And we thank you for continuing to make that possible in Stratford, St. Mary's, Mitchell, and Tavistock. While these awards are inclusive of the greater business community, the other 364 days of the year we work exceedingly hard to ensure that this is a chamber you are proud to belong to. When you get nominated for an award at the Business Excellence Awards, it does not mean you are regarded as excellent within just the chamber community, but the entire surrounding business community. So congratulations to our nominees. With diversity and inclusion as one of its core values, it is extremely fitting that RBC is once again our presenting partner this year. At a time when sponsorship dollars are under more scrutiny than ever, we know these decisions are difficult and we want to thank RBC and all of our sponsors for your support. RBC will also be presenting the Business Leader Award. The recipient of this award is selected annually by our Board of Directors. I'm looking forward to celebrating someone I have always admired, Mr. Franklin Fong. Franklin has graciously accepted this award and it is very well deserved. His character is one of honesty, integrity, and a characteristic I can personally attest to, compassion. Congratulations, Franklin. Our thanks go out as well to Mayors Matheson and Strathy, along with their councils and staff. Although we're not able to enjoy some of the off-the-cuff humor you both bring to our event every year. 
We are looking forward to hearing from both of you later this evening. Last, but certainly not least, I wanna thank our general manager, Eddie Matthews, and our office manager, Jennifer Smith, on their commitment to business excellence this year. During a time when most businesses had no option but to slow down, Eddie and Jennifer have redoubled their efforts and found several new ways to support our membership through this, the start of this pandemic. Hard work has absolutely trumped hard luck, and we thank you. From Business Builder webcasts, the Stratford Strong Mask Program, participation in the Stratford Tourism Alteration Transformation Project, the Economic Response and Recovery Task Force, and the very successful launch of the Chamber Young Professionals, sponsored by YNCU. The Chamber continues to find ways to innovate, participate, and enrich the business environment in this community. I am honored to have the opportunity to finish my term as board chair in 2020, 2021. And now I'll give it over to Eddie Matthews, our general manager. Hi and good evening, I'm Eddie Matthews along with Greg Hader. Here we are at the Arden Park, uh, an empty ballroom, which is such a change for what the gala for the Business Excellence Awards has become over the years. In a normal year, we would be holding our gala here at the Arden Park, but we've had to do things a little bit different this time. You know, all, all the things that our, our lives have revolved around, you know, that routine of, of going to work, going to the theater, going out for dinner, even just going for a coffee or heading down to the mall. We've had to, to do things. It's taught us that in the end, it's your own family. It's your own home that keeps you safe. And we want you to be safe and sound in your vehicle tonight and enjoy the Business Excellence Awards. Once we've moved past this pandemic, we'll get back to sharing more memorable evenings together at the Arden Park Hotel and being able to cheer and to celebrate all the people that make Perth County such a wonderful place to live and to do business together. Greg? Thanks, Eddie. On behalf of the staff and management here at the Arden Park Hotel, we would like to congratulate each and every nominee for their hard work and dedication and being presented with a nomination for tonight. I would like to encourage people to all shop locally, dine locally, stay locally. It just goes towards fostering our community, keeping local jobs, keeping the economy growing, and that's what it's all about. Stay safe, everyone. Thanks, Greg. Thanks for being a part of this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks to our chamber board, our partners, our committee members, our judges, and the Hader family as well for their assistance in making this evening possible. Enjoy the 24th annual Stratford and District Chamber of Commerce Business Excellence Awards. And please flash your lights, honk your horns for tonight's hosts, the CEO of Invest Stratford, Joni Gerber, and from Tian Kitchens and Cabinetry, Courtney Tian. Have a great night, everyone. Taking selfies and laughing at all of our jokes would be very kind, and you can post those, and that would be very generous. In all seriousness, it would be very valuable to document this in the way that uh, works for you, and hashtag chamber B-E-E-B-E-A. Uh, bathrooms, they are over towards the Y, sort of underneath that lamp um, behind the four trees and uh, it's east side for those of you who need the north south east west please wear your mask to and from and please make sure that you wash your hands when you're coming back in fact i was listening on the news this week Joni, and apparently uh, pre-covid statistically people said and i quote i am not likely to wash my hands when using a public washroom That's it was disgusting. about 23 percent of population said that they actually would during COVID, we've seen a huge improvement. The people say they are now more likely to wash their hands at 66%. So I guess this is improvement, people. Good work. 44% of you did not wash your hands. Yeah. On that note, yes, tonight is all about recognizing um, and you know perseverance and adaptability and frankly, hard work for all of this and everyone involved in this evening and getting here. So congrats to all the nominees and everybody who's been involved. If you are announced as a winner 
Eddie will be calling you, so please have your cell phone on, charged, and ready, and turn down your radio to avoid any feedback. But please stay in your vehicle. Do not rush the stage. Joni and I will not welcome you here. <laughs> Perfect. Very well done. Okay, so here we go. We're glad you're all along for the ride. One of many car jokes. Well done on the horns. Um, and we're thrilled to get things started with our presenting partner, RBC, and the Vice President of Commercial Financial Services, Lincoln Simmons. Good evening, everyone. My name is Lincoln Simmons, and I'm the Vice President of Commercial Financial Services at RBC. On behalf of my colleagues, I'd like to welcome you and thank you for attending the 2020 Stratford and District Chamber of Commerce Business Excellence Awards. Your participation tonight is a great example of how we can show support for our local business community and encourage small business owners and the entrepreneurs of tomorrow in difficult times. I'd also like to thank and to recognize the organizing committee for tonight's event for showing an incredible amount of ingenuity and creativity in making sure that tonight's event goes off without a hitch. So today, one in five Canadians is self-employed. And at RBC, we recognize that that is the driver of economic growth and prosperity in our country. At RBC, we service more small business owners than any other financial institution in Canada. And I'm sure that we have the knowledge, the information, and the expertise to help you. In my role as Vice President, I've had the opportunity to meet many small business owners in this community. And one thing that's clear is the passion that you all have for the community that you live in and the ways in which people work. Your stories and journeys may look different, but you all share at least one thing in common. You're creating growth, you're creating wealth and prosperity that contributes to the quality of life that we have in this region. So tonight, we're here to celebrate you. Thank you, have a great evening. to RBC for being our presenting partner this year. As you know, I'm Joni Gerber, and I'd like to officially and formally uh, introduce my fabulous new co-host for this year, Courtney Tian, Community Affairs Director for Tian Limited. 
Well, thank you, Joni and Eddie. <laughs> uh, really happy to be here as your co-host uh, for this evening. It took me a lot longer to get ready this evening than it did if we were hosting a gala indoors. Simple one dress and some heels and off you go. And now I have on about nine layers and I feel like the little kid in the Christmas story, that kid brother. Frozen stiff. Yeah. But that's okay. It was less costly as well. I have about nine masks, which uh, cost less than $50, and they're a lot easier to switch out. Now, that said, it is my honor to introduce Mayor Al Strathy of St. Mary's and followed by Stratford Mayor Dan Matheson. Good evening, everyone. It's Mayor Al Strathy. It's my honor to bring greetings on behalf of the town of St. Mary's for the Business Excellent Awards. This evening, you're being hosted by Joni and Ms. Tian. And you know, while we've all had some interesting times during 2020, I'm really impressed with everything the business have done, how they've supported our communities and adapted. The positive spirit in Perth County is alive and well. I wanted to say this evening that while I'm disappointed in some ways, I won't get a warm greeting and a hug from Joni. I am uh, finally glad that it's socially acceptable to social distance from Rick Orr's jokes and I'm sure that the ladies will do a great job hosting this evening and you'll all enjoy the program. I want to say congratulations to all of the winners and especially all the nominees for all your hard work and locally in St. Mary's our nominees are the St. Mary's Healthcare Foundation, Jake with Jacob's Liquidation and Auction, Revive Holistic Healthcare, Zombear Rights, Lyric Flowers, The Flower Shop and More, The Hitching Post, Armstrong Paving and Materials Group Limited, Troyer's Spices, Quadro Communications Cooperative Inc., FS Landscaping Inc., Trestle Strength and Fitness, Harris Gregg Automotive, Little Caesar St. Mary's, as well as Perth Veterinary Services. Congratulations everyone. We appreciate all your hard work and everything you do for our communities. Enjoy your evening. Hi, I'm Dan Matheson and on behalf of the City of Stratford, it's my honour to be here at the virtual 2020 Business Excellence Awards produced by the Stratford and District Chamber of Commerce. Tonight's success is brought to you by so many sponsors and supporters, businesses within our community and district who've stepped forward to make sure tonight's show does go on. In this pandemic, now more than ever, we've come to appreciate the resilience and unwavering commitment of our business community, our business leaders, our employees, and all of us who shop local and support our local economy. During this pandemic, we have had to look at a new form of resilience. We had to be more optimistic, we had to be more committed and more dedicated to the services we provide, the goods we sell, to our customers, to our employees, to our communities. We have been successful to date because so many people have stepped up in so many different ways. At Invest Stratford, leading our economic recovery efforts in Stratford, we've had over 50 volunteers from the business, nonprofit, and community groups step forward to be part of our task force. We've come up with many innovative and interesting solutions. We are continuing to do so in through the fall and winter in preparation of 2021. And we do it because we will come out of this not only learning from the experience we had, but ensuring that we're strong, stable, and ready for growth when the recovery occurs. I wanna thank all the business community for their efforts. I wanna celebrate all the businesses within our community. I wanna congratulate our Personal Excellence Award winner. I want to congratulate all our business nominees and wish everyone all the best as we head through the fall of 2020 and into 2021. May we come out of this pandemic healthy with the love of our families, support of our community and businesses stronger than ever. Thanks so much. Thank you, mayors, for your collaborative leadership and your very clear direction. We are all in the same storm, clearly in very different boats. So your calm resilience and incredi is incredibly important at the best of times, but definitely during a time of crisis. Thank you to both Mayor Matheson and Mayor Strathy for your continued leadership. And staying on the subject of leadership, it is now my pleasure to welcome Brian DeGroot from RBC Bank to introduce our 2020 business leader. Good evening, everyone. My name is Brian DeGroot, Senior Commercial Account Manager at RBC Royal Bank here in the Stratford and St. Mary's Markets. It's my honor to be here this evening to present to you this year's Business Leader Award recipient. 
As you can see by your programs, this individual has a lengthy and outstanding biography, as well as tremendous support within our community. Is currently a member of the Board of Governors for the Stratford Festival, Vice Chair on the Board of Directors for the City's Economic Development Corporation, a mentor for the Junior Achievement Programs, and so much more in our community. And now can add Stratford and District Chamber of Commerce Business Leader Award recipient to these accomplishments. A friend, a colleague, and a business leader within our community. Your 2020 Stratford and District Chamber of Commerce Business Leader Award recipient is Franklin Fong. So first off, I'd like to uh, start by thanking the Stratford District Chamber of Commerce for this recognition and award. It's greatly appreciated. I'm, I'm actually rather humbled by it. I never uh, anticipated being uh, able to be the recipient for such a prestigious award. When I got the call from Eddie Matthews, I was uh, floored and quite humbled by the, by the opportunity to represent the business community as the business leader. I should tell you a little bit about Fahm & Company. Fahm & Company is a firm that started in 1947 and in 67 my father joined the uh, partner at that point and there's been some sort of combination of Fahm at the, at the leadership table uh, since that point in time. Uh, Fahm & Company is a large organization which has over 100 uh, employees and there's 10 partners. So it's not just one individual that's running the organization but a group of individuals. And as, of the, as is the case with all in organizations, the people make the difference. Fahm & Company is who we are today because of the people. We have an amazing staff, like I said, a complement of over 100 people that are working together as a team to get the job done. And, and we focus a lot on quality and service to make sure that our work is, is exemplary in the, in the industry and we are uh, leaders within the community. And speaking of the community, I think it's really important that we advise our staff uh, to be involved in the community as much as possible. This is the place where we live, this is the place where we work. We wanna give back to the community and whether that be with your time by sitting on various boards and volunteer organizations, with your talents by doing our financial statements for the organizations that we can or with our money, with our treasures that we can donate back to the organizations within the community. We're very community focused. We like to help those organizations that are in need as best as we can. And of course, speaking of need, in this past year, we've seen a lot of it due to the COVID-19 situation. COVID-19 has affected our business dramatically because as it has all businesses, uh, because we've had to change the way that we do things. We've had to reinvent ourselves and pr still provide the same quality product. Um, but how do we do that in a safe and uh, responsible manner? The most important part for us through the whole process was keeping our people safe. Our people are all that we have. What is a business without its people? The number one issue that we find with all of our clients is people. If you don't have the right people working for you and the right support system, then you can't get the job done. So we're very, very blessed here at Fama Company to have an amazing staff um, I am particularly humbled by this accolade, as I said before, um, because um, being recognized as a business leader is not something that I had asked for. It's just something that happened over time. It's interesting, you're not, when you are younger, uh, you aspire to do different things to become a leader. But once you're a leader within the community, I think it's incumbent upon you to help those younger people grow into a leadership role. So people makes the difference for absolutely everything that we do. And I would be remiss not to thank my family and especially my wife because there's amazing support system that I have at home that allows me to do those extra things like sit on various boards and help out within the community uh, as well as the support of my partners and staff. Franklin Fahm, the one word that comes to mind when I think of Franklin, it's integrity. I first met Franklin um, and really got to know him on the Invest Stratford board and I was impressed by how he um, dug in there and did the work and didn't need the glory. Um, he doesn't showboat, uh, he's just a person who um, says how can I help and then puts his shoulder to the wheel. Uh, I've gotten to know him better as he's served on the Festival Theatre board, he's chairing our education committee 
Um, and something that really impressed me at the beginning of the pandemic, Franklin was sending out these regular missives about uh, his uh, um, uh, financial firm. Um, and he would sign off at the end saying, you know, if there's anything I can do to help beyond financial, um, please call me. And I just thought that was such a mark of, of the integrity of this individual. I can't think of a more deserving individual for Business Leader of the Year than Franklin Thom. Franklin Thom is one of the most talented accountants I've ever met. And with this talent, he's also very charismatic and has a very large personality. And that has served him very well, not only in his practice here with me, and I've been fortunate enough to share a lot of years with him, but also with our community. He's a real business leader. He's very generous with his time, uh, understanding that when the larger community wins, we all win individually. Uh, I'm very proud of his accomplishments vis-a-vis uh, uh, his involvement in the community, and I think he's very deserving of this award. If I have one word to describe Franklin, it would be passionate. He's passionate about his family, he's passionate about his work, and he's equally passionate about his community. And for that, we are all winners. When I think of a business leader, I think of trust, support, and vision. And I think Franklin embodies those qualities to a T. Please now give a warm welcome to our business leader of 2020, Franklin Fom. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Let me start by saying a very board of directors of the Stratford and District Chamber of Commerce for choosing me to be this year's recipient of the Business Leader Award. I am humbled and even surprised that you have chosen me to receive this distinguished honor and it is a privilege to be here tonight to accept this award. Thank you also to Brian DeGroot, Roger Quinn, Jessica Bovius and Nita Gaffney for your kind words. I appreciate your partnership in the community and our friendship. In short, this is very overwhelming especially because I did not realize that this award is accompanied by a gift basket that includes a certificate for one year's supply of toilet paper. Eddie, you cannot imagine, Eddie, you cannot imagine how valuable that is to me during the COVID pandemic. Welcome to all those businesses who have been nominated for this year's Business Excellence Awards. It is a very impressive list of local businesses. You should all be very proud because it is your clients and customers and peers who have put your names forward as businesses that stand out and are making a difference in our community. Fom and Company was actually nominated five different times before winning in a category of our own a couple of years ago, so I know exactly how you feel when you're waiting with anticipation to hear if your name will be called. Whether your name is called tonight or not, you should be very proud of this nomination. I'm fairly certain I'm the first person to receive this award in an outdoor venue, but in the crazy year of 2020, it seems rather fitting and par for the course. Actually, when I found out that this year's event was going to be held outside in a drive-in movie style, and that I could only bring one vehicle and stuff it with as many people as I could, I immediately called Jeff and Rick Orr and asked if I could take the Orr Insurance fire truck for the evening. They were absolutely thrilled and willing, right up until the moment that I suggested we paint the truck fawn blue, and that apparently was a non-starter. Seriously though, I am humbled and very proud to be in the same company as fantastic individuals such as Tim McDonald, Rob Taylor, Jeff Orr, and the late Vic Hader, to name a few. But I am especially proud to recognize my father, Howard Fom, who won the Personal Excellence Award in 1999. I am grateful that you are here tonight, Howard, so that I can share this award with you. Growing up, it was easy for me to see that the strong community is built by people who are involved in that community. Both of my parents, Howard and Donna, were involved in the community on a regular basis in addition to their normal busy lives. They gave generously of their time and provided leadership in many organizations such as the United Way, the Canadian Red Cross, the Stratford Perth Museum, Big Brothers and Sisters, and many others. And Howard actually held positions both in the local chamber and at the provincial level in the Ontario chamber as well. I know that they are both proud of their involvement in these organizations over the years. The roots of Fahman Company, as you heard earlier, date back to 1947, and in 1969, Howard joined with Mr. Fenn Gibbs, and they began growing the business together by taking a keen interest in the business community and giving back whenever possible. 
In the 1970s, Fob & Company admitted its first female partner, and it was one of the only a handful of accounting firms in the entire country to do so at that time. In 1978, Fob & Company opened its doors at 125 Ontario Street above Bradshaw's, and now occupies over 15,000 square feet, over three buildings in our downtown core. Meanwhile, in the 1990s, the St. Mary's office was purchased, and I'm very pleased to announce today that we are expanding and have just purchased a 4,500 square foot building right in downtown St. Mary's in order to double our office staff contingent over the next year. Thank you. And our London office, which started with humble roots, the house of one of our partners now occupies a large building in the business section of downtown London. We've had many opportunities over the years to move our offices away from downtown cores, but we have chosen to do the opposite and invest in each of the downtown communities in which we operate. For example, our location in the heart of downtown Stratford, most of which is on the second and third floors in order to preserve valuable downtown retail space, is a valuable contributor to the viability of Stratford's downtown. Our large client base, many of whom are from out of town, are found wandering around shopping in local stores and restaurants after their appointments with our office. So I am very proud that each of our offices holds strong positions supporting our downtown communities. But all the buildings in the world would not be necessary if we did not have the amazing people we have to fill them. I am very proud of the number of staff members who have 20, 25, 30, and even 35 years of service. We are continually striving for excellence in client service and the product which we deliver. Our staff are very conscientious and get emotionally invested in the lives of our clients as a goal is to help our clients succeed in what they do. Obviously, I believe that people are the most important part of a business. I'm constantly trying to ensure that these wonderful staff are appropriately challenged and provided with opportunities to advance their careers. This could be through providing more challenging work or client responsibilities, but could also be through seeking opportunities for them to participate in community-based organizations. What has developed over the years is something that is beyond collegiality within the work environment and is rather a sense of family. To be clear, this is not something that has happened by itself, but rather through a concerted effort of myself and my partners over the years to make sure we hire the best people and we coordinate our policies around a family first environment. And speaking of hiring, we have found that we have had the most success of hiring people who have roots in our existing communities. So without a doubt, we try to foster growth within our community by hiring within our community. As you can tell, I feel very proud of the people who work at Fom and Company. We often comment that at our office, we are part of the family, and I can hear you all growing in your cars now. And while I do say family a little tongue in cheek, it is entirely true that we have a family environment which supports and encourages each other to be the best we can be. Without a doubt, if it were not for the amazing staff and partners at Fom and Company, I would not be receiving this award today. So to all of my fellow friends and coworkers, some of whom are here, I say a hearty thank you. Besides my staff and their community involvement with various organizations, I am also particularly proud of the commitment of Fom & Company to support charitable organizations within our community. We do this through annual sponsorships of various events and assisting charities with advertising sponsorships, but more importantly, I am extremely proud that as an organization, we donate over $100,000 per year in reduced fees to charitable organizations. This donation of our services provides a significant tangible benefit to these organizations as they are receiving our financial expertise at reduced rates. I would even go so far as to boast that almost every charitable organization in our community has either current or prior volunteers from our office or benefit from the support of reduced fees as a client. I have personally had the privilege of holding positions on many different nonprofit and charitable organizations over the years. Serving on these boards and committees invigorates me. I like knowing that I have helped shape the direct the future that have made a difference in our community. Volunteering has also allowed me to meet many different people in our community, which has provided phenomenal opportunities for personal and community-based growth. Looking back at my time with these organizations, I can see the tangible difference it made for the community. For example, I was on the board of the YMCA at the time that that fitness center right over there was built on top of the pool. I helped Stratford Summer Music to find a cost-effective way of recording their annual firework music. I played a strategic role in negotiating the land purchase of the Optimist Hall so that the beautiful new Tom Patterson Theatre could be preceded. And I helped to teach grades 7 and 8 students at local schools the importance of financial literacy to ensure they have a good start in their financial lives. 
I regularly use the expression with my clients that my job is 40% accountant and 60% psychotherapist. The reason for this is that our clients put their trust in us to nurture their businesses and, based on that trust and openness, share much of their lives with us. By the way, I always also keep Kleenex in my office for those really open conversations, especially the ones where I tell them they owe a lot of tax. The key, the, the key to retaining and growing our client base over the years has been to provide a very high level of service and quality product and to have an open and honest approach, which means you make it right when you fail at service. I remember my father telling me back in the late 90s that an expression that I still use a, as a reminder on a regular basis today. He said, never worry about the clients you don't have, just service the ones you do and you will grow from there. That is a very true statement because providing service builds trust and respect and which in turn snowballs into success. Although I use the 60% psychotherapist analogy in jest, the point is still valid that people trust us and tell us almost everything happening in their lives. This particular year with a pandemic hitting our economy, many people and businesses have been left yearning for help and assistance. I would be lying if I did not acknowledge that it was the hardest year of my professional life. I was having and am still having to keep up with government subsidies, programs and deadlines that are changing and being introduced very regularly. There have also been many difficult phone calls and conversations with clients and I have helped navigate questions like, I cannot afford payroll, what do I do? The bank has called my loans and I'm not sure if my business is going to make it, can you help? How do I know which employees to call back to work under government subsidies? I'm trying to hire back my employees, but they won't come back because they do not want to give up their SERB benefits. Do you have any suggestions? But my biggest stressor during this pandemic is worrying about the health and safety of my staff at Farm and Company. I feel this is a personal responsibility and it is something that has kept me restless many nights during the past months. You see, when the pandemic started back in March, the information being presented on infection and death rates were very daunting because we did not know as much then as we do now. So being the math guy I am, I did a little calculation based on the knowledge available. We have 125 people at our firm. The infection rate is 70 to 80%, but let's go conservative and say 40%. That means 50 staff are going to get infected. And the mortality rate is expected to be about 4 to 6%. But again, let's be conservative and cut it down to 2%. That leaves one person. So this is what was keeping me up at night. Who is going to be the one person from our office who dies? That question has molded the way I acted when I established protocols and guidelines to keep people safe. I would never be able to forgive myself if something that we did at the office or did not do resulted in the loss of one of our staff members. I'm sure that all you business leaders had similar stressors this past year, so I'm likely in good company with these concerns. Back in May of this year, our office experienced a situation where the close family member of one of our staff tested positive for COVID. We took immediate measures to close our office out of an abundance of caution and involve the health unit to make sure that we could open again safely in a few days time. After ensuring everything was done for our staff safety, my attention turned to what I called damage control as I was worried about our reputation. But then I was totally surprised. With the exception of one email that was less than flattering, all comments I received, emails, messages and phone calls from the community and from our staff were extremely encouraging and supportive. What an amazing thing to happen. Just think of that for a moment. A local business followed and exceeded all public health guidelines, had a crisis, and in spite of its best efforts, uh, our local community rallied support for that business instead of chastising it. Frankly, it makes me embarrassed to have even thought about damage control and I couldn't be more proud of community. Make no mistake, the way things are progressing, a closure will happen again either to our business or another one of our communities. But I can tell you with great certainty that I will be the first in line to send my support to that business in their time of need. To me, this is a community leadership at its core and essence. Stratford and Area is a very resilient community and I'm proud to call it my home. I've seen some amazing things since March which has made me very proud to be part of this community. I've seen business owners roll up their sleeves and get back to grassroots of reinventing themselves. You could use expressions like when with the going gets tough, but I'd rather say business owners want to keep going because of the pride in their businesses and in our community. But our economy is not going to get fixed overnight. There's no magic potion or pill that can be taken to make the bad things go away. Rather, we all need to work together and help each other and more importantly, be open and honest with each other and let others know when we need help. 
I believe small business owners often hide their true emotions. I see this in my clients. We have been forced by societal norms to keep a lot of that emotion in check and adopt a grin and bear it approach to how we interact with others. We also consider somebody to be weak if they complain a lot about how hard their business is or how they're struggling to make ends meet or if they're worried about their own physical or mental well-being. Why do we do that? Wouldn't it be better off as a business community and society if we were open and honest with each other so that we could learn from each other and support those who need it? The COVID pandemic situation we're presently facing has brought a lot of these issues to the forefront as to how important small businesses are for our society and how difficult it is to run such a business. I am proud to be a mentor for small businesses. Hopefully you've heard by now that I believe every good thing in business relates to the people you know, the relationships you build, and how you treat everyone you meet. Being a leader is entirely about connecting with people. It is not about the business model or the client strategies or the COVID policies or even about the type of business that you're in. It's about inspiring and motivating people to get the work done that needs to get done. So I encourage you all to grow and succeed in your careers and community involvement and, once you become a leader, to take on the vitally important task of helping to grow the next generation of leaders. But I would be remiss if I did not have one final thank you, and that is to my family and in particular my wonderful wife, Stephanie. She puts up with all my crazy ideas and allows me the privilege of time when I am absent from home at various community-based organizations and while I am working long hours to help lead Farm and Company. So I simply say thank you and I love you. My, thank you. My friends and fellow business leaders, I am grateful beyond words for this distinguished honor and I accept it with humility and pride. In the famous words from Shakespeare's Twelfth Night, thanks and thanks and ever thanks. Okay, well, we uh, socially distanced to get the mic back. It's been sanitized. I wore my mask, so we're doing pretty well so far. Uh, congrats again, Franklin. Uh, as many of you know, Franklin is the vice chair of the Invest Stratford board, which is probably what sealed the deal for this business leader thing. Um, we did get a memo this morning from his new agent. I didn't know he had one. Apparently, he'd like all the plain Timbits removed from the snack pack box. He'd like heavy cream in his coffee, and he'd like to be referred to as business leader Franklin Fom in the meeting minutes. So we'll, we'll add that to, to the list. So normally, uh, actually, before I forget, things we are not going to do tonight. Courtney has given you the list of the things we are going to do. We're going to wear our masks, we're going to stay apart, we're going to know the washrooms are over there. Things we're not going to do. We're not going to touch our face, because we know that the health unit tells us that's a bad thing. Um, we're not going to leave our cars. Peter Moranger has been out of his car the entire time. Can I just say, and he's hooting and hollering, and there's no body surfing tonight, Peter. I'm so sorry that you didn't get the memo. Um, and obviously, as many of you know, there was a, a you know, relatively significantly interesting uh, presidential debate uh, from our neighbors down south. And so Courtney and I have promised we will not speak over each other. Courtney, over to you. Yeah, and speaking of masks, what a difference a year has made, you know, as we walk around and, and see all the respectful uh, mask wearing everywhere we go and thinking back to a year ago and what we've been through. You know, we've been through shutdowns and homeschooling our children, um, revising our business protocols, um, cancelling family celebrations, and frankly, face-to-face human uh, interactions. Our cultural institutions are remaining closed. The, the community, um, as a community, um, we've all made significant sacrifices to keep each other healthy and safe. Uh, all of this while managing regular challenges of life and work and family. There's no doubt that the words to describe all that 2020 has given us is resilience and adaptation daily and sometimes hourly. It's true. Courtney, you could not be more right. The fact that we are even here tonight celebrate, cele uh, celebrating speaks to the creativity of this community. A drive-in, 
in October, eating takeout in our cars. Who knew? Uh, actually, uh, speaking of takeout, uh, can someone make sure that Jeff Orr didn't spill his gourmet burger in his pants? That'd be great. Thank you. That, that was a group effort. Thanks, everybody. As co-hosts, we can tell you the preparation for this evening has been interesting. Which mask to wear? Will my hand sanitizer work with my mittens? And quite frankly, can Eddie Matthews stay six feet apart from anybody? <laughs> Courtney, I'm <laughs> Courtney, I'm just so pleased you're here to join me. I think we can all agree Rick Orr would not have survived the cold. Yes, I I am definitely superior in strength to Rick. And as many female partnerships before us, we will make an exceptional duo. I mean, think about it. The sisters in Frozen, um, you know, uh, Tina Fey and Amy Poehler, Laverne and Shirley, uh, Cagney and Lacey, uh, Thelma and Louise before us. We will be funny. And since we're the only one who can actually hear ourselves up here, we are blissfully ignorant. Will you if we shut are up, man? You are the worst CEO that Invest Stratford has ever had. <laughs> anyway, I must admit that when I was asked to co-host this with you, it was a year ago in a beautiful, warm room, and the request came immediately after we had won commercial award. I'd consumed a celebration drink, and I do believe I was in shock, and therefore I accepted this position under duress without knowing the details, and now here we go. You signed a form. But the, sh the show must go on. Well, there are 50 nominees this year. Joni and I are personally thrilled to acknowledge that more than half of them, half of them are owned or co-owned by women. Woo! Fantastic. Girls rule. So, let's get this show on the road. We have a number of people that we do have to thank. And uh, I want to start off by thanking our present um, presenting partner, RBC, and our platinum partner, Invest Stratford. And we are grateful to our municipal partners, the city of Stratford, the town of St. Mary's, and thank you to the volunteers and all of the sponsors who can be found in your programs. Please take a moment to go through them, them as well. Uh, to the judges and to all of you out there here with us, giving of your time in your vehicles in this parking lot with us here. New this year, uh, the grand prize donated by Swanson's Jewelers will be drawn from those that submit their receipt from ordering takeout from tonight's event from one of the chamber members. You'll need to scan the receipt and submit it to the chamber office before this Monday to be eligible. For those of you using your receipt to make a fire to stay warm, that's okay. Fewer submissions ups Courtney and my chances of winning, so don't worry. And finally, we would be remiss not to thank Craig Thompson and the team from Ballinran Entertainment for pulling all of this together. This is certainly a unique experience. And so Courtney, I'll turn this over to you to explain the judging process. Okay, there's often questions of how this all goes. So just running through this year, uh, our judging committee consisted of seven people from various sectors with Stratford uh, District uh, Chamber. The process began with online nominations and then the chamber asked each nominee to complete a web-based questionnaire. Uh, once the questionnaire was completed, our panel of judges were then given a couple of weeks to independently review and vote on the completed questionnaires evaluating each question with a score of 1 through 10. The review, requiring several hours, was structured in such a way to remove um, any judge's bias or influence. And this year we did have 50 nominations to evaluate, as I said, with nine different categories. So if a judge did have a conflict of interest, they declared it to the chamber, and then they simply abstained from voting in that um, category entirely. Once the judge, uh, the judging was concluded, the data was compiled into uh, confidence uh, by the chamber staff. And tonight, the winners have remained confidential. None of the judges know which business they will be awarding the excellence to tonight. Uh, so I do want to thank the judging panel. And here are their names. 
Abby Noon Pearson, Dennis Goforth, Krista Robinson, Lauren Francis, Leanne Perot, Melissa Venke, Mimi Price. And another interesting um, point to, to go through is three years ago, the Stratford and District Chamber unveiled the Business of the Year Award. The honor is awarded by a panel of just three judges, one of the nine successful winners in each of the categories um, were determined through evaluation process to shine the brightest. And this year's panel of judges that decided on the 2020 Business of the Year consisted of these three individuals. Travis Bloom, 2020-21 Chairperson of Stratford District Chamber of Commerce, Joni Gerber, Chief Executive Officer of Invest Stratford, Eddie Matthews, General Manager of Stratford and District Chamber of Commerce. Again, congratulations to this year's nominees. You're all getting very good at the honking. I'm very impressed. There's, it's like the, the clapping, the honking, yeah. very well done. Because we really, we really do see nothing but these very, very bright. bright lights. And each other. Yeah. That's nice. That's it. Our first award of the night celebrates excellence in the nonprofit and charitable sector and is presented by White. Hello, I'm Jack Walsh with Whiteman. It is my pleasure and honor on behalf of Whiteman to present this year's nonprofit and charitable award. Whiteman has always had the motto of people first, and in these times of a global pandemic, putting people first, caring for people, and treating people right are very, very important. This group of nominees does that each and every day, and we are honored to have them as part of our community. The nominees for this year's Nonprofit and Charitable Award are Stratford and District Agricultural Society, Family Services Perth Huron, United Way Perth Huron. Simple Dreams Ministries Ontario. St. Mary's Healthcare Foundation. Stratford Perth Humane Society. One Care Home and Community Support Services. And the award for the nonprofit and charitable award goes to One Care Home and Community Support Services. One Care Home and Community Support Services provides a range of support care services that enable seniors and people with disabilities to enjoy a better quality of life at home. They are a community-based, not-for-profit health organization that provides care to families in Perth, Huron, and area. In 2018, they received the highest standing achievable from Accreditation Canada, accreditation with exemplary standing. All aspects of the organization were evaluated from governance to infection control, client and caregiver engagement, to managing risks. One Care provides ongoing training opportunities for volunteers and staff and work to support the community that supports them. They are committed to giving back through donations, contributions, and participation in several community events. And I've got Kathy on the phone here, and congratulations, Kathy, to One Care Home and Community Support Services. Who would you like to thank tonight? Well, I, there are so many people, including our wonderful staff, but I would like to thank the Stratford and District Chamber of Commerce for this recognition. It is really deeply appreciated as we work to bring awareness about One Care and the support we provide to our community. We have about 260 staff and hundreds of volunteers, but you don't see them because they're in people's homes and various community location. Um, seniors and people with health issues want to 
live in their own home and community as long as possible in their health care journey. And that is what One Care does. We provide a wide range of service from home care to Meals on Wheels to transportation to exercise. 16 different kinds of services because we know people need that range of different things. As an entirely local agency guided by a local board, we're focused only on this community and its needs. And recently when COVID hit, we saw a need and implemented a new grocery program in two weeks with the funding support of the United Way, as well as um, providing teams of staff for long-term care. That response and kind of partnership is what local organizations do. And we appreciate the support of other care provider partners and local businesses in our work. We are all part of making our community strong and vibrant. And we really appreciate the recognition of our part in making our community better. So thank you. Kathy, congratulations to you and the entire staff. Way to go. And we'll get that award to you and get some nice pictures as well. Thank you, Kathy. And now back to Joni Gerber and Courtney Tian. Thank you very much. And congrats to One Care. Thank you, truthfully, for all that you do for our community. So all award winners tonight will, re will be receiving this award. I'm trying desperately not Hi to drop it. Hi there and welcome. That would be embarrassing. Um, from Mark Stratford. So thank you very much to Marks for that. In addition, I'm going to put this down because I'd rather look foolish putting it down than really dropping it. There we go. So far, so good. We're not used to the props necessarily. It's, it's tricky. To help us celebrate, all winners will receive a gift basket. The lovely Courtney Tian displaying the gift basket. From Rio Thompson's Candies, a gift card to the Windsor Hospitality chain of restaurants and a very special gift from Peely Island Winery. It's not in the basket because Courtney and I already opened it. Um, that's, that's okay, you'll get a fresh one. To, ma <laughs> to maintain distancing, uh, just an FYI, the awards and the baskets will be delivered by the Chamber team to the winners following tonight's events. Thank you again to all the award partners for their generous contributions. Our next award recognizes business excellence in the service category and is presented by Festival Marketplace. Hi there and welcome to the 2020 version of the Stratford and District Chamber of Commerce Business Excellence Awards. My name is MJ Thompson and I manage Festival Marketplace Shopping Centre, a centre that's been in the community for over 30 years. We hope that you consider that we support our community in a way that is really active. We allow companies and, and not-for-profits to come in and raise money for their specific charities. We host all kinds of things for the House of Blessing. We do a lot of things with Optimism Place. So our community involvement is really important to us. And because we've been doing it over 30 years, we think we've earned the right. This year, for the 2020 Business Excellence Awards, we are presenting the Service Award. And the nominees are Relish Day Spa, Harris Gregg Automotive, Janelle Spa and Boutique. Trestle Strength and Fitness. Madison Painting and Decorating. Elliott Motors And the winner is Harris Gregg Automotive Harris Gregg Automotive is a full automotive service and repair facility located in St. Mary's that works on all vehicles, makes and models, including heavy duty vehicles. They strive to achieve excellent customer service by providing honest diagnostics and fair pricing. 
To maintain their high standard of service, they respond to customer vehicle emergencies outside operating hours whenever and wherever possible. Harris Gregg Automotive is proud to support several community organizations in St. Mary's and surrounding areas. They offer free advertising for community events on their roadside sign and support local businesses whenever possible by consciously purchasing supplies and materials locally. They continue to explore avenues where their facility can become more environmentally aware and look forward to implementing additional practices and procedures as they become available. Now, Ryan, congratulations. Uh, you guys have done such an amazing job in St. Mary's. Congratulations. Well, thank you very much. Uh, we would like to thank the Stratford and District Chamber of Commerce for hosting this event. Uh, this year is like no other, and you should be commended for adapting the format. Uh, congratulations to all the other nominees tonight. You should be proud of your achievements in business and contributions to your community. Uh, it was truly an honor to be nominated for this award, let alone receive it. On behalf of all four of us, Brian Gregg, also known to customers as Bill and Barney, or Barney, uh, his wife Judy, my wife Candace, and myself, Ryan Harris, we thank you for this uh, recognition. Uh, this award isn't possible without our team at the shop. Thank you to Pete, Jeff, Nathan, and Greg for all your hard work and dedication. Uh, lastly, thank you to our loyal customers who trust us to keep them safely on the road. Uh, we promise to continue to offer fair and on honest services. We will continue to be attentive to your needs so that we can ensure we are providing optimal customer service at all times. We are so grateful to the support we have received from St. Mary's and our community, uh, surrounding community over the past six and a half years and look forward to seeing what the future brings us. Thank you. There you go, Ryan, and you got a great staff there. Congratulations to you and the staff in St. Mary's. We throw it back to the stage and Joni and Courtney. Well, congratulations um, on that huge success. Great for you. A special thanks to David I.M. Photography for the socially distanced photography Good this My evening. Name is and to present now the commercial award, I'm pleased to welcome TD Canada Trust. Good afternoon, my name is Ekin Sen and I'm the account manager covering the Stratford market for TD Commercial Bank. I'd like to take this opportunity to uh, congratulate all the nominees and the award recipients and to congratulate them on all the hard work that they've uh, put in throughout the year. Uh, we're very pleased to be able to participate in the event as a gold partner once again this year and we're very excited to present the commercial award to the recipient who consistently demonstrated uh, excellent business uh, practices to ensure the highest level of uh, service and support for their clients. So with that, the commercial award nominees are FS Landscape. Bag Supplies Canada Winmar Stratford Armstrong Paving and Materials Group And the commercial award goes to Bag Supplies Canada. Bag Supplies Canada specializes in customized packaging products and has built their business relationships on trust and efficiency. The products they offer are 100% recyclable and they encourage customers to recycle and reuse their products where possible. They are continuously sourcing out other products such as biodegradables to help the environmental impact of the packaging industry. Bag Supplies Canada provides training for their employees in the areas of office software, warehousing certifications, first aid CPR, and product awareness. They also donate to organizations within the community, such as the Alzheimer's Society, Cancer Research, and the Kiwanis Garlic Festival. And congratulations to Bag Supplies, and Maurice is, uh, Maurice is joining me, and congratulations. And what would you like to say to this audience? Hello, and thank you very much 
I'm absolutely blown away that we were even nominated and to win. It's just a very, very proud moment for myself and for my company. I would like to thank, uh, obviously, Stratford District Chambers of Commerce for all the support and help they do in the area. Uh, our community for supporting us in our products. Uh, the customers that we ship to Canada-wide from coast to coast for the loyalty that they give to our product and especially to my staff. That's uh, an extremely important part for me because it isn't just myself. It's a team effort from us all. And I appreciate the loyalty and the support they give to me personally and to my business. Thank you very, very much. I'm extremely proud. Thank you, and you deserve it as well, too. Nicely put. Thank you so much. Congratulations. We throw it back to Joni and Courtney. Thank you, Eddie, and congrats. Very uh, excellent job uh, to Bag Supplies. So for those of you who are following along, the Peter Mirage tracker, he's now sitting um, I feel like his team has asked him to, you know, be a little bit less Peter, so that's good. Um, thank you very much to Expressway Lincoln for being our blue carpet partner tonight. And guess what? To present the Hospitality Award, please welcome the cooperators. Hi, I'm Rick Rodhagen from Peter Moranger and Associates. Our community has a world-renowned hospitality industry. This notoriety is in no small part due to the hard work, dedication, and the sacrifice of tonight's nominees. The love of what they do comes through in the customer experiences, be they from around the world or right around the corner. On behalf of Peter Moranger and Associates, thank you for making our community not only a worldwide destination, but a warm and heartfelt community. Tonight's nominees for the Hospitality Award are... Edison's Cafe Bar. The Pulp. Jen and Larry's Ice Cream Shop. YSK Bistro. The Parlor Inn. Mercer Kitchen, Beer Hall and Hotel. Houston Hall Bed and Breakfast. Little Caesars St. Mary's. BJ's Dairy Bar and Eatery. And the hospitality award goes to... Mercer Kitchen Beer Hall Hotel. Mercer Kitchen Beer Hall and Hotel is a restaurant and 14-room boutique hotel. They rebranded the former Mercer Hall in April 2016 to integrate the Craft Beer Hall and Izakia style of dining to revitalize the restaurant and bar. They pride themselves on offering a local food experience in a very global way. All of their produce and food is sourced with a local mandate while trying to remain on the cutting edge of food ideas, trends, and processes. Mercer has participated in many fundraisers and given countless donations to organizations in their fundraising efforts. Most notable was their support to the Stratford General Hospital MRI Fund, the Stratford Perth Rotary Hospice, and the Stratford Rotary Complex. And congratulations to Mercer, and we've got Shelley Windsor on the line. Hi, Shelley, congratulations. Thanks, Eddie. Thanks so much to the Stratford and District Chamber of Commerce for this amazing award. It's sincerely and gratefully appreciated. We've had a pretty challenging few months, and it's incredibly encouraging to win this award tonight. It's our pleasure to do business in such a supportive and proactive community. We're so grateful to our customers and our staff and our friends 
and we look forward um, to continuing to do business with you and for you. Um, thank you from Bill and I and from all of us at Windsor Hospitality, and from Mercer and from York Street Kitchen. We're so lucky to live here and do business. So grateful. Thanks so much. Thanks, Shelley, and to you and the staff. Nice job. Congrat you guys always do a great job. Congratulations. We now return to Joni and Courtney. Big congrats out to Mercer. Well done. And to all the hospitality sector, exemplary in resilience and perseverance during this extremely challenging Keep going. You've got this. And keep up the very hard work. I do want to point out another time, specifically to this sector, that eight out of nine nominees in hospitality are female or co-owned female, Joni. Another theme that comes with resilience and adaptability, which brings me to, I hear all of these cars turning on and you look so toasty in there. Well, I can't see you. It's a white light, but I think you're toasty in there and really enjoying yourselves. We are going to continue to put on clothes (laughs) and you won't be able to see much of us by the end of the show. We are halfway through tonight's awards. Rick Orr told me when I agreed to do this, that it was my responsibility to keep this under two hours. And based on the fact that Joni and I are both frozen, it will be an attainable goal. So we'll push this along. Our next award celebrates entrepreneurship. To present that award, please welcome Up Auto. Hello, my name's Michael Carmichael, and it's a privilege to be with you today to present the Entrepreneur Award. My business is Up Auto, and we've got four car dealerships in and around the Stratford and St. Mary's area, the most recent of which we opened in March of 2020, and what a month that was. And to the group of entrepreneurs out there, what a year we've had. It's a privilege to present an award to an entrepreneur who has led their business through such a trying time. And the nominees for the Entrepreneur Award are... Better Ways for Seniors. Revive Holistic Health Center. Alum Wellness Spa. Zombear Rights. The Yoga Chapel. Jacob's Liquidation and Auction. More Creative Consulting. And the Entrepreneur Award goes to... Better Ways for Seniors. Better Ways for Seniors, open since 2018, provides in-home senior care services in Huron, Perth and surrounding areas. Their home care services can be available in as quickly as 24 to 48 hours, with as few different providers as possible to create consistency and building trust relationships between the client and the provider. Clients are strongly encouraged to participate in all services as able, thereby promoting continued independence and self-worth. Better Ways for Seniors recognizes how instrumental its providers are in the rapid growth and success of the organization and have created referral programs and incentives to attract quality caregivers. In the past two years, their total sales have more than doubled. To better ways for seniors, and I've got Don on the line. Don, congratulations! Well deserved. Thank you, Eddie. I feel so honored to have been recognized with this award tonight by the Stratford District Chamber of Commerce. Three years ago, I began my dream of changing the lives of seniors in this region, and every day I see that dream coming true. I've been so blessed to serve amazing clients and families through the dedication and compassion of our extraordinary care providers. Without these remarkable individuals delivering exceptional care, I I would not be here tonight. 
Every day, our team strives to help seniors fulfill their dream to remain in their homes they love for as long as possible, living the best possible life they can. And I'd like to say a special thanks to the hospitals in the Southwest Lynn. They help to make seniors aware of our services when they themselves cannot meet the need. Recognizing the value of partnering when needed with private agencies such as ours so seniors can receive the services they need. Finally, I would like to thank my wife, Wendy, who has believed in me and supported me from day one in big ways and small. Every dreamer needs someone to encourage them along the journey, and she has been there every step of the way. Thank you so much. Thank you, Don. Nicely put. Way to go, and we'll get to uh, get the award to you as soon as possible. We now return to the stage for the 2020 Business Excellence Awards. Congratulations, a very well-deserved award. Our entrepreneurs absolutely may, are the, the heartbeat of this community, Stratford and District, so I'm incredibly proud of all of you. Courtney, I've been thinking about the dynamic duos, the, the women dynamic duos, and one we forgot to mention, or maybe you foreshadowed it, was Anna and Elsa from Frozen, because we are more like them tonight than ever. Uh, so let it go, let it go. The cold never bothered me anyway. <laughs> You gave us a microphone, everybody. You gave us a microphone. <laughs> Presenting the award for innovation, please welcome BDO. Welcome to BDO. My name is Amber Schock, and I am a partner in the BDO Stratford office. Things might look different from what you're used to, but the one thing that hasn't changed is what we do. At BDO, we offer full advisory services for owner-managed businesses. Our core services include accounting, assurance, and tax, but it goes much deeper than that. During the current COVID landscape, we've taken great pride in being able to help our clients to ensure that they are taking full advantage of the program support, as well as offering tax saving and advisory solutions to help manage through the crisis. We're proud tonight to sponsor the Innovation Award, and the nominees are... Quadro Communications Cooperative. Home and Company Real Estate Corporate Brokerage. And the Innovation Award goes to... Home and Company Real Estate Brokerage. Home and Company is a locally owned independent boutique style real estate brokerage. Their unique concierge service program has an approach to client care that supports the whole journey of buying, selling, and moving. This innovative approach identifies the pain points in a real estate transaction. And as a team, they provide recommendations for preferred home service professionals, tangible support, and solutions. As the frontline contact for people moving locally, they are in a unique position to highlight and advocate the quality of life this community offers. It is why they strive to give back and value opportunities where they can give their most valuable resource, their time. Home and Company is often seen running a registration table or at a reception at many local community events. And congratulations, Home and Company. And Marion, the way we're joining us, and this has been the biggest secret I've been trying to keep from you for the longest time. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Eddie. This has been a great night. We're in the car having a really good time and some great laughs. And so this is just the icing on the cake for a really good evening. Um, we, want to, we want to say thank you very, very much for this recognition. It is a true honor to be amongst so many worthy nominees. They say it takes a village to raise a child while well, running a small business is no different. And so I want to thank some people for whom I, with whom I share this award. First of all, my family for their unconditional support and encouragement. And then most importantly, to our fabulous staff and team of progressive, passionate and proven realtors. Thank you. I am so proud of how hard you all work to do the very best for all of our clients. And to all of you who are members of this community, to our past and current clients, we are consistently overwhelmed and so encouraged by the support of this community for our WE brokerage. We are so very, very thankful. Stratford is an incredible community 
one that we are very privileged to be able to work in and to call home. Thank you so very much for this honor. Nice job, Marianne. You guys give back to the community so much. Congratulations. Home and Company are winners. We head back to Courtney and to Joni. Well, congratulations, Home and Company. That's fantastic. And keep on rocking in that car. That's great to hear you're enjoying yourself. Um, on to our... Um, our next award, and it celebrates business in the retail sector, one that has also been hit incredibly hard by COVID-19. Our retailers have been exemplary in adaptability and moving online, and expanding delivery and response. So to present the award for this excellence in retail, please welcome Farm & Company. Judd Attridge here from Farm & Company. Fama Company is once again proud to be a supporter of such a wonderful event. We extend our congratulations to all of the nominees this year. The Retail Award should act as a reminder for us all to shop local and support our neighbours. The Stratford and District Chamber of Commerce retail nominees are... To Bean or Not To Bean, Stratford Coffee Roasting Company. Resonance. The Flower Shop and more. Lyric Flowers. Jillian's Troyer Spices Blow's Stationery and Office Supplies The Hitching Post And the award goes to Jillian's Jillian's is a home goods store that is located on Mitchell's Main Street where you will find timeless and trend-setting decor pieces for your home. At Jillian's, the staff takes the time to educate their customers on mixing the old with the new. This includes how to incorporate family heirlooms with new items and tying it all together. Jillian's uses their social media presence for advertising and to share their excitement for new items in store and has become a huge part of their business. From donations, local fundraisers, sports teams, and speaking at events, Jillian helps wherever she can. Jillian believes becoming a vision beyond the walls of your own business and sharing in common goals of other businesses is how success becomes evident for everyone. We've got Jillian on the line, and Jillian, you've got such a beautiful store. Congratulations. Thank you very much. This is, this is a nice surprise. <laughs> Yeah, this is a, a real honor. Um, it was among lots of different uh, wonderful nominees, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm thrilled with, with the call. Thank you. Welcome. We'll get the award to you. Congratulations and continued success. We return back to the stage. Here's Courtney and Joni. Congratulations to Jillian's representing Mitchell. Well done, West Perth. Woo woo! So if I could just say really quickly, you know who looked really warm? Every other presenter. It was sunny on some days they were outside. Many of them presented from inside their offices. That's all I have to say about that. Our next award, the Manufacturing Award, is presented by BMO, Bank of Montreal. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for being here with us at this wonderfully creative drive-in movie style awards gala. I'm Chris Smallberg, Vice President of Business Banking, and I'm here with my colleague, Debbie Chinetsky, Regional Vice President of Personal and Small Business Banking. As a long-term partner of the Stratford and District Chamber of Commerce, and as a gold sponsor of this Business Excellence Awards, 
Both Debbie and I are very excited to be here and representing BMO among such a wonderful group of individuals. Before we begin, we'd like to thank everyone who has worked tirelessly to make this event happen. It is very much appreciated. At BMO, we're committed to building relationships and to helping Canadian businesses develop and succeed. We have the expertise, products, services, programs and platforms to reflect the diverse range of businesses types and the marketplace. We're proud to have been named Best Commercial Bank in Canada for five years in a row, but for both of us, it's not just about the accolades. That's right, Chris. At BMO, our work is underscored by our purpose, to boldly grow the good in business and in life. This guides every decision that we make and inspires and empowers us to do more for our customers and for our communities we serve, particularly during these unprecedented times. We have been able to help so many local business owners with their recovery by focusing on what comes next for our customers and by offering them optimism and confidence. Simply put, we know how to do this, just like we always have for more than 200 years. It's by staying true to who we are, to each other, and to be laser focused on our wonderful customers and on our communities. Our strategy is not changing. Our momentum is strong. Our focus is clear and our purpose in action has never been more important. We're confident that now is the time for now is the time for any of us to slow down, but it's the time for all of us to continue to succeed. Thank you for all of your commitments to the success of the gala event. And congratulations to all the 2020 nominees. Your contributions have been exceptional. As many of you know, the manufacturing industry in Stratford is extremely healthy and thriving. We are particularly honoured to present both of the nominees in the manufacturing category. So without further ado, and the nominees are... Summer's Motor Generator Sales. DJ Jackson Engineered Roof Truss Components. And the winner is Summers Motor Generator Systems. Summers Motor Generator Systems is a manufacturer and distributor of high quality diesel and gaseous generator systems. Since acquiring the company in 2015, their revenues have doubled and their mobile rental business has tripled in size. They cultivate an environment of continuous learning opportunities for all their employees and are always researching new engine technologies and advancements to lower the carbon footprint and emission levels. Summers Motor Generator Systems is a corporate sponsor of the Stratford Perth Community Foundation, the Stratford Festival Theater, the St. Mary's Hospital, and a supporter of many local sports teams. Thank you, donates and gives back to the community so much. Chris is on the line with me from Summers. Hey, pal, congratulations. Hey, thanks, Eddie. Um, yeah, it's, it's a real honor to be presented with this award tonight. And just to be a business uh, that's recognized here amongst all these other great companies and the other businesses within our community. Uh, running a business, we know, comes with a lot of sacrifice, requires perseverance and hard work. You need great people in your corner, and none of this would have been possible tonight if it wasn't for the support of my family, my mentors, uh, our loyal customers, our vendors, and foremost, the great group of employees I have who come to work every day with a passion and a desire to succeed and give back to their communities. I'd also like to thank the individuals or individual who nominated us, the judges committee, and the Chamber of Commerce for going over and beyond to organize a great event despite a challenging and different year for all of us businesses. Thank you again very much. This is a true honor. Nicely put, Chris. Thanks so much. Congratulations, and we'll get that award over to you. Back to the stage, here's Joni and Courtney. Congratulations, Summers. That is fantastic, and I would love a generator hooked up to a heater right now. Um, but anyway, we've got to get over this. So all of the videos that you are seeing tonight have been recorded and produced by Melissa Shank and MS2 Productions. So I want to give a big thank you out to Melissa and her team. Now, our ninth award of the evening recognizes excellence in the professional sector. Please welcome the Stratford Perth Community Foundation. Good evening. I'm Heidi Culleton, Executive Director of the Stratford Perth Community Foundation. 
The Stratford Perth Community Foundation is proud to support this evening's Business Excellence Awards. To Eddie, Jennifer and the organizing committee, congratulations on the success of this evening. Your creativity has brought us together, drive-in style, to celebrate local excellence. As your community foundation, our mission is quite simple. We help individuals and businesses give back to our community. We help you connect with the causes that matter most. As I look out at everyone this evening, I see the greatest of kindness and generosity and one of the most caring business communities in our country. Thank you for giving back and making a difference in the lives of others. I'd like to congratulate the nominees this evening. The nominees for professional award are KLT Wealth Management, Royal LePage Hiller Realty, Perth Veterinary Services, Global Insurance Agency, Desjardins Agent. Stratford Chiropractic and Wellness Center. And the professional award goes to Stratford Chiropractic and Wellness Center. At Stratford Chiropractic and Wellness Center, they strive to provide excellence in customer service relating to a multitude of natural and alternative healthcare options. Since the business opened in 2002, they have grown from a single chiropractor office to a team of four chiropractors, two massage therapists, a physiotherapist, a naturopath, and five front desk assistants. In 2008, when they built their new office, they were recognized in the community for the amount of environmental cleanup that was implemented and for their attention to environmentally friendly building aspects. The Stratford Chiropractic and Wellness Center has sponsored a number of organizations over the years and developed their own in-office foundation named Helping Hands. Any profit made from their event goes into Helping Hands, which is then dispensed to various families in the community that are in need. Chiropractic and Wellness Center unable to make it this evening, but we respectfully and gratefully accept the award on their behalf and we'll make sure we get it to them. Thank you to Stratford Chiropractic and Wellness Center and congratulations on the award. We head back to the stage to Courtney and Joni. Yes, congratulations. Um, I'd love to say I'll accept this award on their behalf, mostly the Peely Island wine. That's, that's what I'll accept on their behalf. <laughs> Courtney. It's now time to put on your Business of the Year gala mask. Don't drop your ma don't drop your mic. Yeah, she's shaking, legitimately, but it's a very nice mask. Wait for it. Excellent, excellent. If so I wore a dress, it would be this. <laughs> <laughs> next year, next year, there will be a next year for you. Don't worry. Maybe it'll be inside. So our final award of the night honors the business of the year. It is my distinct privilege to present this award on behalf of our team and board of directors from Invest Stratford. Good evening again. Uh, still Joni, uh, but here from the Invest Stratford office. Uh, celebrating and highlighting all of the things that we have done uh, not only uh, tonight uh, at the awards but also um, is a, as a community as a whole. Um, I reflect, I've been reflecting quite a bit on the uh, resiliency, the creativity and the innovation in this community and led by our businesses uh, and I'm incredibly proud uh, of my organization and the fact that uh, I get to watch every day all of the um, contributions that all of our companies and all of our businesses are making. Chamber of Commerce Business Excellence Awards is always something we look forward to every year, a little different this year, uh, but nonetheless celebrating the contributions of our community and our business, and it is with great privilege uh, that I get to highlight and announce this year's Business of the Year Award winner. The Business of the Year, as you know, is one that we um, applaud for their contributions to their employees, their customers, their community, uh, and the entire uh, city of Stratford and, and beyond. 
And so without further ado, uh, I'd like to present the business of the year this year to Mercer Kitchen, Beer Hall and Hotel. Congratulations. Mercer Kitchen, Beer Hall and Hotel promotes economic prosperity through their consistent and committed approach to employer retention and excellent customer service. They invest in the strengths of their organization and develop strategies that have them working cooperatively with their suppliers, tourism organizations, partners and staff. They have become a link to other reputable businesses through the products and services they provide. And because of their product research, they offer a trust level to the service industry. Mercer Kitchen, Beer Hall and Hotel promotes success for the local hospitality industry and the city of Stratford, which means success for everyone and not just one establishment. They work diligently to promote the city as a destination so that all local businesses can benefit collectively. And double award winner tonight, congratulations, Shelley Windsor. Wow. Uh, <laughs> so, I feel, I feel very, very honored and very privileged to win this award. Um, you'll have to excuse the vibrato in my voice because I am holding back tears. It has been a, it has been a hard few months and this award just goes to reinforce the fact that working hard in this community and never giving up really does pay off and i'm very very grateful so thanks very much from myself and bill and from our whole team everyone's heart and soul um pours into this business and we are so lucky to have the greatest team in the world working for us and with us and alongside us. And thank you to our team and to our supporters and to the community that we have raised our children in and made our living in. And uh, yeah, thanks so much. We're very, very grateful. Nice job, Shelley. Congratulations. I know how much you give back to the community, so uh, I couldn't be more proud of you. Congratulations. And ladies and gentlemen, we want to give one last time because Joni and Courtney, you guys did an absolutely awesome job. We'll let you uh, close out the show this evening. Well, just want to say a final congrats to all nominees, all successful winners, and to our business of the year, Mercer. Well done. And I do want to say thank you, Eddie, Jennifer, the Chamber, for being so creative and adaptable, putting this all together, convincing people like us to help out, and all of you for coming. And I'd like to say to you, Joni, you have a very unique way of bringing an MC to an event like this. And frankly, while I cannot feel my face anymore, my fingers and extremities are cold, I will say there's always a silver lining. We should all take a look at that moon because I know Chris is out there looking at it. He makes me go out in minus 40 in the winter and look at the moon. I'm looking at it. And this is a so sign of good times ahead. Thank you so much, Courtney. Uh, as you all know, COVID has changed the way that we do business, keeping our customers and our employees safe, selling online, curbside pickup and patios have dominated the conversations this year. Celebrating our businesses tonight was an excellent way to acknowledge and thank each and every one of them for their creativity and like you mentioned earlier, Courtney, their resilience. Oh, on the, you're not supposed to leave yet. We weren't done. We have, um, so as Courtney mentioned, uh, she made a deal with her predecessor, Rick Orr, that she would finish it faster than he did. Um, we could keep talking for another 10 minutes and make a liar out of her or wrap things up relatively quickly and she can be the winner of the night. And the horn honking in the front tells us what to do. So if you uh, have somewhere else to go, please drive safely to your next destination. If it's an after party for nine, people remember not to pop your bubbles and as the old saying goes you don't have to go home but you can't stay here close in no time. shut up man <laughs> thanks everybody and good night <laughs>